to Ebola, uh, perhaps it's a learning process for everybody, uh, not just the African Union, but the entire international community, uh, because it's the first time we're all mounting that kind of level of response. But I think that it's, it's been a great lesson for, for the African Union, because we surprised our own expectations uh, from conceptualization of our response to the time we first arrived on ground took less than a month. Our policy organs took the decision to send in uh, to send in civil military medical mission uh, on August 19, and by September 15, we had arrived in Syria alone uh, with a first set of uh, health workers. And again, rapidly, uh, when the situation uh, needed to be, you know, when we decided to have a surge, within a, one month, we were able to mobilize more than seven. Uh, 100 people from Nigeria, from Ethiopia, the Democratic Republic of, uh, of Congo, and Kenya in a speed of one month. Uh, and so that by January, we had more than 835 people already on the field. Uh, it's a great lesson looking back. In future, uh, we intend to keep some core of those health good people, good young women and men of, of, of you know, Africans. We intend to maintain a, a health core, well trained uh, from time to time that can respond to any future emergency. For once we demonstrated uh, the capability to respond. Now we need also to develop the capability, I'm talking about the, at the African Union Commission level, we also then need to develop a capability for surveillance, for detection, rapid surveillance and detection, now coupled with our ability to respond. And that is why we've been looking forward to the establishment uh, of the African Centers for Disease Control and Prevention that we call African CDC. Uh, the Ebola outbreak has provided us with the impetus to speed up uh, the the establishment uh, of the center. Well, it's going to be looking at both communicable and non-communicable diseases uh, for, for its time. But because of the circumstances of its coming you know, into existence, we're initially going to focus on infectious diseases. Basically, we're going to start on a small scale of what we call event-based surveillance system. Uh, it's a task, it will be on what I call our three to four strategic objectives. One is the event-based surveillance system. The second will be to give capacity building uh, to, to help the African member states, AU member states, African Union member states, to develop their capacity to and assist them in the implementation of the international health regulations. If most of them have not been able uh, According to the 2013 report by WHO, uh, 46 member states of the WHO Afro, uh, who are African member states, AU member states, have not even f fully established or you know implemented the core, uh, uh, the, the core aspects of the of the international health regulation. So we're looking, you know, our second main objective is to assist and get make sure that the African Union member states fulfill their obligations and that they're able to implement them. The third is what we call uh, mapping of risk uh, areas and the Africa is faced with drought, with famine, with uh, flooding and associated uh, diseases. So that's also going to be another major area. So in the first three years of its uh, operation, this will be the areas that the Centers for Disease Control, the African CDC, will be looking at and will be working. Well, it's clear 
the, that African Union member states will have to fund, uh, provide a core funding uh, for the African Centers for Disease Control. Uh, of course, partners uh, will also be, will have express uh, the willingness to assist, uh, will include uh, the, the United States, uh, China, uh, the citizens of both countries, as well as uh, the European, uh, the EU, through the EU's uh, CDC have also pledged. But I'm also aware that the African private sector uh, that played a significant role in our fight against Ebola have also expressed a willingness to support because it's part of the, the, the medium to long term uh, preparation to make sure that we do not face uh, the kind of situation of Ebola. It's part of the lessons uh, that, we have, that we have learned and that we continue to draw